Hello, Kate. <laughs> okay, that was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how this series is going to get started. Alright, so, hello, viewers. What we're going to do is, we're basically, we're going to start... Um, we're going to start... Uh, no. Um, what we're doing is, we're basically going to start uh, talking about our thoughts on certain anime we've uh, recently watched. Uh, so... And this is, uh, this, uh, and just take note, this is going to be recorded before me and Harry start watching Love Live, and I am absolutely scared out of my wits. So, okay, you're sitting there laughing, Harry. You're going to be the one hearing me cry. Uh, anyway. See, this is, uh, uh, this is, this is probably going to be like a new, uh, C's, uh, uh series. Show, uh, series show, C show, yeah. Yeah, uh, I might, we might, might put it off on a, Solo channels as well, but uh, we'll think about that later. But uh, at the moment, this is um, that, yeah, it, it being a C, just as strictly a C show is subject to change. But at the moment, uh, that's how it is, that's how it's going now. Yeah, so it's basically it. We we might have like some other uh, members join for some of these, depending on if they've seen the show as well. But most of this is probably just going to be. Uh, uh, us too, so um, yeah, get used to hearing us, I guess. Ah, oh, poor bastards. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so to, um, for the, for this particular episode, we're going to be li uh, uh, listing our thoughts on Gurren Lagann. And for, yeah. And for those of you who are unaware, Gurren Lagann is a 2007 anime about uh, about two particularly. Uh, are two particular teenagers from the underground in some sort of uh, f distant future where uh, everything's gone to shit and uh, well, these uh, beastmen have uh, have taken over. Yeah. Now, uh, at some point in the past, uh, a big war happened uh, between um, the sp uh, between. Uh, be between two particular factions, the spiral and the anti-spiral, and by the looks of things, when we uh, when uh, uh, when it gets to the uh, actual anime itself, uh, the uh, the spiral race had lo uh, the spiral faction had lost uh, because, well, the humans are underground and they're a partic they're particularly uh, spiral uh, they're a spiral race. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And what spiral and what spiral power ba uh, race basically is is um, a pati well basically um, creatures who can output something called spiral power, which has the, actually the potential to end the universe. <laughs> which is like really that is terrifying. I'll admit, like yeah, if you if you go above, go above. And beyond what you originally intended, that could have dire consequences on the entire fucking universe as we know it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to have that that kind of, uh, um, like, I I, I don't want to have that kind of pressure. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's like yeah, that's why there was the empty spiral towards the end. Were like, uh, you do you, would you really want to have that kind of um, Effect on the universe you live in and shit like that. Yeah. It's like. Nope. No, it's like no. I would. I fucking wouldn't. Simon and Simon and that lot are just fucking hard-headed, and I love it. Yeah. And I was watching. I was watching this video at some point, um, and it said it was. Bit, I can't remember who it was by, but um, it said it. it said it perfectly the fact that it was uh, that every kind of message delivered well not every kind but a lot of the uh, premise of it can uh, uh, can I don't know, I'm trying to get the fucking words out um, basically it amounts to the concept of evolution oh and okay evolved. yeah okay every minute like some sort of every uh, minute we are 
better than we were a minute before or something like that. I can't remember the actual um, quote okay. itself, but... I see, yeah, I can see what he's trying to say. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to think of it. Like, what, what else? Um, and then, right, uh, there are a few... Uh, this is a. Oh, by the way, before I go into anything else, there will be spoilers. Oh yeah, uh, most, this is, yeah. Most this like, is something we should say. Uh, yeah, for because, every um, yeah, for every like anime discussion video, like we're gonna be talk like um, digging out like all our thoughts on pretty much everything we can think of. Uh, so like, if you if you uh, haven't seen like Goron Lagan specifically. And you don't want to be spoiled, then I'd recommend just clicking out of this video now and just listening to this later. Or if you're very, very adamant on uh, on watching this episode, go and watch the entirety of Grand Log on first, and then come back to us. Yeah, and then we'll see you there. Uh, and if you if you don't care, then uh, hi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hello. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, girl. Okay. Um. When I first okay initial thoughts. When I first watched Goron Lagon, well, when I first saw it, saw it, it looked very shit posty. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't <laughs> you? Yeah, I can like, kind of feel with that. Not like not shit yeah. posty, shit posty like Sonic Boom kind of shit posty, or no. like what is it? Um, um, Amazing World Gumball. Nah, well, it's that like shit posty, but the uh, yeah, uh, but it was very goofy. It yeah. it, it tended to be. Uh, it had a message of like right at the beginning where those uh, where those two were stood on that ship um, in space, but then it cuts to uh, a depressing scene underground, and yeah. but then uh, but then it has some really goofy jazz music in the background and uh, <laughs> and these pig mole creatures uh, yeah, just stampeding somehow. Up to the top of a fucking uh, uh, that same underground ceiling. Yeah. Like, like two like two stampedes crash into each other and they just go straight up. It's like what the fuck? It's like <laughs> I don't care. I know it's an anime, but come on. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I, um. I was actually like, um, the first time I saw the anime was actually with Lewis. So. Uh, I'm more of a recent watcher, and really the only thing I knew about was like apparently it was like characters that have like massive drills as weapons, <laughs> and that was like literally the only thing I knew about it. So yeah, but it's like uh, one of the more, one of the more famous. Yeah, Gurren Lagann is basically one of the more famous examples of the trope of. Literally called "This is a drill," where a character yeah. where a character has drill for a weapon or anything else. So yeah, and yeah. and it's also giant robots com combining fan service. You know, and it all, just all the good shit you needed from an anime. Yeah, it it gets like more and more ridiculous <laughs> like as you go uh, through as, as you like keep watching and stuff yeah but this like like, a, like any anime it, it tends to take you off guard in terms of a few things like there's a few deaths yeah oh yeah there's deaths uh, and it just gets very feelsy there's uh, it feels like there's actual stakes like it's not it's not it's not just like uh, look, look how uh, big we can make the jewels, look how, like, crazy we can make the fights. So, the, it feels like there's actual, like, stakes and reasons to worry about what's going on. Yeah, and it's... It, it's very, very... I don't know, what's the word? Oof. It's very wacky. Yeah. It's like, it's one of those shows where it's really wacky, but it makes you think. Yeah, it's like, it's like... Not not like philos maybe a little bit philosophical, not much political, mm. but like yeah. about life, basically. Yeah, and it's like, uh, what's it? It, it? it has like a a general like lighthearted nature, but it knows like when to like make things serious. It knows it knows when to up the stakes, basically. Yeah, 
basically. Certain. Because like, there's some like really weird episodes. Like, wasn't there like that one with um, like a bathtub? Uh, yeah. Something? Oh, the, yeah. The hot tub episode. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that will always be one of the most notable ones. Uh, and then just the like, fact that, go on. like it, well, I was just gonna say, like the fact that it happens like right before this, like like dire stuff that happens like in the next episode, I think. Yeah, the next two episodes. Yeah. But on it, yeah, okay. Basically, the hot tub episode, episode six, and then episode, yeah. and then it literally leads onto uh, this big two part battle. Yeah. Where, uh, and what I'm gonna say now, if you still care about spoils, I warned we warned you earlier, so it's on. Yeah, you. this is where it starts. <laughs> it's on you. So, uh, so Kamina, who who is basically like the big the big brother figure to Simo, like yeah, uh, ends up losing his life towards the end of the battle. Uh, towards the end of the battle, and it's. Honestly, it's a death which a lot of anime fans, which have have seen Gurren Lagann, remember and celebrate. Not well, not celebrate in a bad way, but I'm just talking about like celebrate. So they celebrate his life basically, and his right, in his yeah. in his, oh, in his overwhelming amount of manliness that he seems to exude. <sighs> yeah, isn't that the truth? And it caught me off guard when I first watched it because. I wasn't sure how uh, it. It was at that. It, I it, that was a point in the anime where we weren't sure how far uh, they'd be willing to go in terms of harming the characters. Like I thought it was all going to be yeah. like some sort of like big cartoony kind of. Um, a bit big more cartoon, more cartoon like slapstick humor. Yeah, but and, like let's say at that point, like it just uh, shows that like, they. Like, things are getting serious, like, you know. And then it's like... And it was at the... At the, at the point before as well, they... Uh, 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 just before, it showed that I some actual uh, in-universe romance between uh, him and uh, Yoko. Yeah. It was probably one of the most recognisable anime chicks out there because... Uh, Pretty much. Well, um, her plot. <laughs> it's it's weird. It's 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 just so so weird how like the weird the weirdest things in the uh, in the anime can get uh, get well known. But yeah, um, you know, every anime has its weird quirks. Yeah, pretty much. Charm. It's pretty much like. Part of the reason why we watch anime in the first place, I guess. Pretty much. And then, right afterwards, you see uh, coming to get pretty much fucking skewered. Yeah. Oof. Which I was, which came pretty much out of nowhere when you thought everything was okay. Yeah, like it just kind of happens. Just like it coming to goes in, belts belts Simon in the face. To, uh, to uh, snap him out of uh, some weird fucking meltdown he was having, got back in his th- uh, got back in his uh, his uh, mech, and then suddenly yeah. it just shows uh, what uh, is it? I think it's Timulf. Yeah, it's Timulf. Where uh, who get when uh, breaks out of the massive fucking uh, die gun zone with the spear and just imp- it just impales Goron on it, and it's so f- yeah. And that was honestly one of the most shocking points of that anime for me. Yeah. Like the big turning point when I realised just how big the stakes were. Yeah, like, and it's like, uh, like when I saw that, I was like, did like did they like really uh, kill him off? Because like, I thought like like him and like Simon were like gonna stay as like the main the char- main characters. Uh, so I was really like wondering like if they actually did that and like come the next episode um he would like you would walk out of the infirmary on that big big fucking uh, die guns and thing just be like yeah i'm all better now i'm like no or like at least to uh, be like heavily injured but like 
No, like the the next episode after that is just basically them just mourning his death, and it's yeah. like, wow, they actually went with this. They 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 went full on and showed uh, just how uh, uh, just how f- uh, fucked up Simon was getting in the head because of it. Yeah, and like the arc after that is basically like him trying to become his own person and uh, you know coming to uh, terms and coming into his own. Yeah, pretty much, and I. I did like that because, uh, you know, uh, having like someone you look up to just go like that would be rough for anyone, really. Yeah, that that would that would mess anyone up in the head. Especially when you're, uh, how 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 uh, old is Simon in the first uh, series? Because I assume he's like pre time skip. He's fourteen. Oh, okay. And Kamina and Yoko. Yes, I'm including Yoko in this because I refuse to fucking believe she's that. Uh, she's fourteen. Yeah, she's, she's not. Yeah, she is not. I'm sorry. I don't care if the fucking uh, the lit the village calendar says different. She is not fucking fourteen. Yeah, it's probably they probably like uh, have like years done differently or something. But no, she's she's full on uh, seventeen, if not sixteen. Yeah, at, yeah, at least sixteen. Yeah, but what had happened was, um. She she was probably taking it hard uh, hard the most as well, like yeah. equal to equal to Simon because she'd fallen for him. Yeah, it's like those two were those two were like uh, emanating different like aspects of grief. Yeah, pretty much. Like those the, those two perfectly showed just how. Uh, like two polar opposite reactions to somebody close to them dying, and it ended. Up, and I'm actually not surprised it's the younger one that ends up uh, taking it uh, taking it worst. Yeah, because like when you're like that young and like have that kind of stuff just thrown on you, like ugh, you, you you're gonna get messed up. Yeah, uh, it's it's weird because. Mind you, I can understand why because he, because uh, to him it felt like he was the one at fault because uh, he saw uh, Kamina and uh, Yoko kiss. He had developed yeah. feelings to uh, for Yoko just like Kamina had. Kamina had got the girl first, and it sent him over the edge. Yeah, and then like things went haywire. Things, I guess things went south. Yeah. And. That's that's why Simone feels very um, responsible for what happened. Yeah. Mm. But like it it uh, stuff like that just helps uh, the whole um, like the stakes matter thing hit home and makes you like just care about the characters more and um, like they. Like end up growing from what happened. Yeah, especially in the episode in which, oh, and not uh, to me- not to mention uh, that there are a few characters uh, coming along the way, both prior and post Kamina's death. There's the uh, um the what is it uh, the black siblings? That's the co- that's what they were called. Mm. There was uh, Kitan. Uh, Kyo, uh, Kino, I, don't, I think. Well, let me just... I can't remember the names offhand, but yeah. Let me have a look. Uh, yes, it was uh, Keton. K- yeah, Keton, who was the brother? Um. Yeah. Then there's Keo, Kino, and then Kiol. Okay. And in the f- and and they and like they they come in for episode four, go away for some time, and then uh, when that particular battle comes around, they come back with their uh, with Kiton in his own. What do you call it? His um, own gu- a gunman. Gunman, yeah, I was tr- trying to remember the term. Yeah. It's... Ow, 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 ow. 
But um fuck's sake. <sighs> uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they could tell that stick around for cuz this is the fir- cuz this is the first episode so we're going to end up having these uh, these weird silences. Yeah, so like we, uh, so th- we this- apologize. Yeah, this is like uh, the first time we're doing something like this, so like we're probably gonna sound like really, uh, I'm sure. we yeah, weird and like, and we're not we're not used to this. Is the point? We we'll we'll get try and get better over time when we're actually better at talking about this. So yeah, and then and then Kit yeah, Keaton comes back in his uh, gun uh, gunman. Uh, Vainly called King Keaton. Mm-hmm. Fuck, he kind of loves himself a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> well, um, and then okay, and okay, and then um, there was uh, Gimme Dari and well, uh, Gimme Dari and Rossio. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Fucking forehead guy, forehead boy. <laughs> and then. Uh huh. And yeah. Go on. No, I was gonna uh, talk about someone completely different. Go on. Uh, the uh, the gay guy. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Um, Leron. Yeah. Uh, that was that was a riot. <laughs> I'll I'll go I'll uh, I'll go on to, I'll go on to that in a sec, but like. But back to, um, back to the main lot. There was uh, so many okay notable ones. Uh, Jorgen and Balimbo. That uh, that was uh, those pretty thick guys. Yeah. Um. Obviously, there's Keaton. Uh. Oh, fuck. I've seen this anime so many times, and there's some of the. The uh, uh, and yeah, I still forget things. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fine. Uh, but yeah, and then around the end of the the end of the battle, and uh, well, afterwards, uh, uh, Simon after the Logan goes berserk, ends up uh, coming across Nia. Who will be very very important? Yeah, especially in the second half. Oh yes, in the second half. Afterwards, uh, they end up. Uh, she, well, she ends up attracting the attention of uh, the remaining th- uh, of the other three of the uh, four uh, the four generals of the beastmen. Yeah. The end, and and that was and around episode eleven, that was the point in which Simon had uh, managed to uh, come into his own. Yeah, like uh, he's gonna he'll rem- he'll still remember uh, Kamina, but it's no longer gonna be in his shadow. Yeah, I try and like honor his memory and all that. Yeah. When that was pretty, that was pretty much one of my favorite moments in the series. If only, yeah. if only for the music and everything else. And it, like, feels like satisfying in a in a specific way, I guess. Yeah, definitely. And then, sometime afterwards, uh, they end up uh, finding out how to fly. Yeah. And what happened was. Uh, they went across the sea and got to the temple in which is basically a massive fucking gunman. And yeah. Also, the main city uh, where the uh, where Lord Jerome, the Spiral King, uh, sits. Yeah. Can I just say, Lord Jerome, fucking badass. Like, yeah. What? Uh, that... Simon was in Lagan, and he just took it himself. Yeah. But the fact that he ba- Simo basically just drilled through his chest, or like, like his... it was the only way to defeat him because he wasn't gonna fucking submit any other way. Yeah, 
that was so good though when he when he uh, when he stuck the uh, stuck the uh, key into Lord General's chest and they just clicked it like yeah and then so that just sent a massive fucking spiral <laughs> good lord out of his back that is one way to have a last resort pretty much I mean to be fair it was brimming with spiral power so yeah and then the um uh, and then that was that's when Lord Genome delivers a message to say uh, saying about the uh, the moon. Yeah, which we'll get to later on. Yeah. So thoughts on the uh, so thoughts uh, on the on the pre on the uh, pre time skip. Uh, I really, I really did enjoy the uh, the um, the first half of the anime quite a bit like the again the stakes uh, it makes you care about the characters uh the action's pretty well done uh and gets more and more uh intense i guess for lack of a better uh, word um and the characters are, are enjoyable and it has a good light-hearted tone uh but again it knows when it when to take itself uh, seriously and has a good balance of that i think and I've, I I think the first half is generally pretty enjoyable overall. Yeah, it really is. Like, it was it was hot blooded. It was it was um, full of plot. In more ways but, than one. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the music was amazing. Characterization, character development. Yeah. You know, just everything you want in an anime like this. Yeah. It, it had a, it. That's what it was a good way to like introduce the universe in a sense. Yeah. Because because even with with it being the main meat of the series, with having more episodes than the uh, post time skip, I feel like that the uh, the stuff that happens after the time skip is the uh, the bigger part. Mm. So, is there anything so, else you'd like to add? Uh in terms of like the 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 um free time skip, the not really. I basically said all I needed. Yeah, that's, 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 you pretty much took the words out of my mouth. So there's not much I <laughs> can, can add, to be honest. <laughs> okay. So after a like a recap episode in episode sixteen, episode seventeen starts and it's apparently been like seven years later. Yeah, Yo- Yoko's gone to teach some kids on an island. Um, there's be- there was a-, a big city built where Teplin was apparently. Um. Uh, Team Daigoran basically formed a uh, formed a government. Yeah. And uh, and a lot of humans. Uh, well, the majority of the humans. Uh, went to go and live in the city, and they all start. Everybody started getting all entitled. Yeah. Which isn't. Refl- isn't good. It, and yet. Isn't at all surprising. Yeah, they, 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 humans. Humans, that's all we're gonna say. <laughs> but the fact, but the thing is, like, it's a wonder they didn't all see this coming. Like, once everybody got comfortable with their lives, they just ended up. Uh, they just didn't want uh, want any of it to change and just wanted everything uh, handed up to them on the plates again. Well, I yeah. Just on the plates like they've gotten used to. It's like, yeah, fuck, uh, fuck being in the uh, underground again or, li- or just living in fear. We can do whatever the hell we fuck we want. Yeah. And then the... Um, the... 
The base, uh, all, pretty much all the basemen are in jail. You, uh, virally included. Yeah. We'll get to that in a bit. Well, no, no, no. Viral, no, Viral isn't in jail. He's, um, he apparently, he was apparently trying to defend uh, a group of uh, humans uh, who wanted to stay in the uh, underground. Mm. So, yeah. And then uh, he was caught and then sent to jail. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, things carry on as normal, and apparently Russia was trying. Uh, and apparently Russia had gotten the head of uh, Lord Genome for a big biocomputer because he has been uh, because the words that Lord Genome left him with about the moon had uh, apparently freaked him out quite a bit. So he's got uh, he's uh, getting Lord Genome to pretty much spill uh, spill what it will be. Yeah, I'd like actually explain it. Of course, Lord Genome being Lord Genome, he was oddly very cryptic. Yeah. And, uh. And then, so, and then. Apparently, and then Simon and Nia. Uh, apparently, we're apparently getting, um, you know, engaged. Yeah. <laughs> Look, and then <laughs> after a misunderstanding, when uh, Nia took something very, very literally. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that was that. hilarious. <laughs> uh, he, uh, and after the black uh, after the black sibling sisters had, had ended up talking her over, uh, they did get engaged, and Simon had, uh, had uh, was talking to an animate object, mainly the uh, the statue of Ke uh, of Kamina. Yeah. Once the uh, well, Keo, uh, I think the oldest of the black siblings. No, 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 no. Keaton is the eldest. Uh, then Kyo is basically the oldest sister. She uh, she had ended up having a kid, and uh, and that put the uh, tally up to one million. Mm. One million humans, and it had ended up uh, awakening awakening a human, which t actually turned out uh, no awakening the moon, which ended up. Um, started to come down like the fucking Majora's Mask moon. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It even had the fucking face. <laughs> Man, that was. You could tell that they were, they were channeling the inner Majora's Mask. There, there was probably some uh, like um, influence from it because they. When you think of like a evil moon, like about to destroy everything, like Majora's Mask is probably one of the f first things that comes to mind. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah. Pre so what? And what else had happened uh, was uh, Nia uh, turned out to be a messenger from the Anti Spiral, who we talked about earlier. Yeah. And she bit. Uh, and what had happened was she. Uh, uh, she started uh, going uh, going on and be well. Like when I say messenger, she she delivered a message to the humans saying that the moon would be uh, was going to start coming down and uh, it, like how I forgot how many days. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the days, but but hmm. it, well, in a matter of days, um, hey. the you're gonna die, son. Pretty much. <laughs> And with uh, with all the, the um, yeah. and with all the uh, simulations they ran, nothing on Earth would survive. Yeah. So just... the solution, uh, the solution devised by Rossio was to build uh, to build an ark, and uh, and take a good few. Uh, uh, humans up so that the human race can survive. 
Only problem was not every, not not all of the humans would be able to make it on. Yeah. So, and because of a uh, small mishap Simone and had uh, when they were trying to, uh, while I was trying to defend the city, which resulted in quite a lot of um, a whole neighborhood being fucking rip. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. He was. He had to get um, incarcerated and basically right. on trial. So you know, poor, poor Seaman, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was good to be executed. Poor guy, man. I know. And then yeah, Russia just took on all of the the uh, responsibility himself because. Uh, back in the village where he grew up, um, being able, uh, having to uh, make the decision of who of who either gets exiled or dies, was um, it, it was made to keep uh, resources be able to sustain the the humans living in the village. Right, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. So, he, so that's basically what had happened. Poor, uh, poor Roshio, I suppose. <laughs> you can't go, the human uh, consensus can't go over the, a certain amount yeah. And basically, Yoko returned, freed uh, freed Simon and uh, Viral, and uh, there was a humongous space battle afterwards. Yeah, this is basically one of, the, one of the best fucking scenes in the show. Yeah. Because Simon and Viral. Teaming up and piloting Girl My God. Yeah, and like it gets like more and more like crazy and uh, like it's a it was a good like finale battle I guess because it, it it's basically what goes on for the for the remainder of the show of, from that of the show. point on was basically yeah. space battles, death, death, space battles, space battles, fucking. Robots the size of a universe. Yeah, not even like joking. <laughs> yeah, that is, and we're actually saying that literally. Uh, so like, don't they just like throw galaxies at each other at one pretty point? Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the 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 anti spiral, uh, pretty much gathers some uh, some whole fucking galaxies into a ball, and <laughs> then just sends a massive fucking beam. Like Kamehameha universe size, uh, <laughs> like fucking man. hell. Um, but Keaton, uh, Keaton, okay. The death death tally for the second half was Keaton, Jorgen, Balimbo, three other guys. I can't fucking remember the name of. <laughs> um. And basically near. Yeah. And that, and that really made me sad. Cause yeah. They went, they went to all that trouble to uh, to bring her back, and she ended up uh, like disappearing because uh because she was an anti-spiral. Uh, and like she like couldn't. Exist any? Uh, what was yeah, the reason again? Yeah, she exactly? literally couldn't exist because, because she was an anti-spiral messenger, and because the anti-spiral uh, messenger had been defeated and killed, uh, she couldn't. Uh, she literally couldn't uh, be. Yeah, that's yeah, that's rough. But you know, the worst part about that was it was at this wedding. It was it was at hers and Simon's wedding. Yeah, and she. 
pretty much disappears like right after. Do she disappears during their kiss? Yeah. And I'm I surprised like Simone didn't take it. Uh, like, like he he took it a lot better than I thought he would. To be honest, I think I think with how he reacted after Camina died, he re he realized that uh, his time wouldn't uh, be better spent. Uh, mourning mourning it's like she, yes he can mourn but there are ways to mourn yeah not and just how, like do yeah. it like you know yeah. going crazy and cause and causing pain to your um your uh into the people you care about you isn't exactly the best idea yeah because they're, they're probably suffering just as much pretty much and you're and you're not only making any better so he yeah, had a, he had a uh, epiphany, I guess. Yeah, oh. he had a good idea. He had a good uh, idea on how to take uh, how to take it. So yeah, and then he also uh, threw the uh, Grand Lagon key to uh, what do you call him? Gimme. That's his name, Gimme. The uh, you know the two you know the two kids from the first uh, half. Uh, I. Th yeah, I think I think so. The orange-haired guy. Uh, well, but yeah, yeah. Uh, he basically gets the key. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and after, so afterwards, you basically got uh, dur during like the post. You've got uh, so you got Roshio obviously looking older. Yeah. And in charge of the government. Uh, Gimme and Dari uh, are leading the uh, troop, leading the troops to space to meet the uh, other anti spiral races. And uh, you see, you see the uh, the Goran, the Goran Logo models uh, taking off in a spiral. Which was a good touch, mm -hmm. and um, meanwhile, some uh, some kid's trying to open a coconut with his drill. Yeah, and uh, Simon was like, "You fucking scrub! Let me show you how it's done." <laughs> <laughs> and then, the, and then oh. that's how it, that's how it ends. It's so <laughs> weird because, like, oh no, no! And then there was Viral trying to. Um, and there, uh, there was uh, Viral uh, commanding a uh, commanding a ship, ship yeah. of humans, because he was basically uh, told he has to be the one watching over uh, the future of humanity. Right. And that. Yeah, it turns out to be uh, Simon uh, with it, with one of his eyes lit up in. Uh, Weirdly lit up here with spiral power. Like one of his eyes was a normal color, and then uh, one of it, uh, the other eye was green, and spiral like. It was so yeah. weird, but it was badass at the same time. <laughs> anyway, the, um, that was the post time skip. So thoughts on that? Um, I have a kind of. Uh, I don't know, don't know if I want to say mix, but I I I enjoyed the enjoyed the time skip more um, during the like the finale battle, I suppose, because um, get what you mean, because yeah. like uh, when it first starts up again, uh, everything's all weird because yeah, uh, they're they're all free freedom fighters, and then they're all yeah working for the go working in a big government, and everything's so. Everything just feels different. Yeah, and like, it's a like change in the status status quo and all that, and uh, it's like, I I, I don't know. I I, I uh, like I don't I f I feel the f I enjoyed the first half um, quite a bit more. I want to say because uh, um, with uh, the second half. Um, there's a good 
a good chunk of uh, of it where it's a lot of uh, general uh, world building, I suppose you could call it, and yeah. uh, and just um, trying to like show what this new um, new world's like. This yeah, new world's like and all that, and um, like humanity's progressed. They've got a city. Yeah, they can relax. Yeah. And, and and the heroes that actually managed it are, 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 are feel like they're all in hell. Yeah, and I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with uh, doing that, but I feel like it. They could have, uh, um, I guess, d not necessarily, not necessarily dialed it down, but like uh, maybe uh, quicken the pace uh, a little bit. Because uh, I feel I feel like it takes a little bit too long for things to start happening again. Yeah. Uh, but. To be fair though. Yeah. It was like it was like they had to do a little bit more world building. Yeah. So I can understand why. It's like it a double-edged sword. Yeah. You've got it. Things things were basically moving non-stop in the uh, in the uh, pre-time skip, and then it just. So it's uh, like take a step back. Yeah, took a step back. Uh, this is where people are now, and this is how things are progressing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, it does take a little bit, but I think for good reason. Right. Yeah. Like it. Like I, I do. When it gets into like the, the battles, and I, and like, uh, the the one episode with uh, Yoko and the kids is. Uh, an episode I really, I really enjoyed. It's like that. That um, like during like the uh, period of like world building. That's probably one of my uh, favorite episodes because um, it's a, like, and I, I thought it was like very heartwarming and uh, nice. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that was my phone. Sorry. Um, it's. I do remember when we were watching it and yeah, you were just like uh, you were just like this is weird this is so this is so different and pretty pretty much yeah and like I, I, it's like I said yeah. I understand where you're coming from because I was exact I was exactly the same yeah but looking back at it now I think it I, I think it needed it because if it went if it went just straight back into uh, action. We, uh, I don't think many people would have known where exactly where every, where they were at. It's like, yeah. wait, what's what happened between what and shit like that? Yeah, I yeah, because I again, it's a double edged sword, I suppose. Because uh, they they need to like slow down and like build up, uh, build up to things rather than just be like, okay, we like they literally just. Like solved a massive crisis, and you can't exact you can't exactly like start the second uh, second half with, with them like dealing with something else with like no real build up or anything like that. But no, you can't. Yeah, it's um. Again, I have mixed. I have mixed feelings. I, I, I enjoy. I enjoy. I still enjoyed it, and I there are like some good, heartfelt episodes. Um, yeah. But yeah. It's, but overall, though, in terms of like the big show itself. Uh, it, do you want to go first? Since uh, like this is like you're more. Uh, uh, I want to say like. Now, okay. Now, off screen, I do gush about this anime a lot to anybody who hasn't <laughs> watched it, and it's hard to do. And without sp saying anything to them, it is really hard. It's like go watch the fucking show yourself because you will not regret it. You're like, why? Mm. What happens? Fucking watch it, and you'll see. Yeah. It's like any anime. Yeah. It's but like it's. It's like the mu the music. The mu all the music fits, even the rap. Oh, I forgot about the rap. <laughs> Do the impossible, see the invisible. Row, row, fight the power. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
and then uh, I think the uh, I think people go on about the English voice acting in any anime like it's the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I don't agree with that mentality at all. But it's... in in terms of like just Goron Lagan itself, I think the English dub did a really good job. They did a fantastic job. Yeah. Keaton's voice, especially. Yeah. I think I think he I think of all the voices in the series, he felt so he felt just so natural. Yeah. I forgot who voiced him though. Um, uh, I I wouldn't know. So. Um, on the wiki now, let me check. Uh, Christopher Corey Smith. Okay. Let me just check it was. Uh, but yeah. Um. <sighs> fuck. What was I gonna say? Um. The, Talking so, about yeah, like general thoughts and all that. Yeah, I general think. thoughts. The animation was all brilliant, aside from episode four. Yeah, wasn't that like? Yeah, it was like one episode. I remember that uh, looked a bit weird compared to everything else. Yeah. It's very, uh, yeah. Episode four, I think, was handed over to a different, uh, like, division of the animation company. Yeah. And you look yeah. at it, and then yeah. it, it looks like it shows. Yeah, because like the quality is like a lot uh, lower uh, compared to like everything else, and it it's a bit it's a bit weird when you like compare it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I forgot what I was say. Um, <sighs> you. Uh, I think I, I think I've run out of things to say. Yeah, the right <laughs> moment. Uh, uh, well, um, just, I mean, I basically said, uh, uh, all I, all I need, uh, pretty much. Like, I, I think, I think it's a a good show. Uh, I, I personally enjoyed the first half more. Um, and I, and like, I think, I think the the show like. The like the climax battle and like just the general ending was a good way to just end the show in general and um I I think the I think the characters are likable. I think there's a lot to enjoy from that and like you like you were saying, like the mu the music fits the the tone of what's going on really well. And um yeah, I it's hard for me to like uh recommend uh uh, shows in general, like I, like I, I, like what we might enjoy might be different for, for like you and vice versa. So, like, like if, if you if you are curious about the show, I, I would say like give it a try, see what you think about it, and um, I definitely recommend yeah. it. Yeah. But that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> I definitely recommend it, and just be prepared for just prepare your tears. Yeah. <laughs> Besides that, uh, I I'm pretty I'm pretty much uh, done here. So unless you got anything else to say, we should try and wrap it up. I think. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, anyway, all we're gonna say is watch it. Just fucking watch it if you haven't already. <laughs> although, just although, if you are gonna watch it now, it's gonna end up. Uh, you're probably gonna end up not liking it as much because of uh, lack of surprise factor. Because yeah. we told you, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah. All right. Um. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea how to end these kinds of videos. So um, yeah. So I'll we'll see you. Uh, see okay, you, so Scrub Lords. 
No, no, wait. What, the next one will be new game. Yeah. So um, seasons one and two. Yeah. So we're not we're not sure like when these are gonna go up or anything like that. So uh, to you guys, whenever that w- will be, I guess. Yeah. Hey, people in twenty twenty. <laughs> Bye. Bye.